morning on our next day at the feet of the big Carlit, which you can see behind me there. We slept quite well. It wasn't cold, it was kind of humid, so you can feel the moist coming, but it was very peaceful, very calm, no people around. We were very surprised <laughs> because there's a weekend and lots of people walking around, but no one was camping around us. So it was nice. Also, we've heard some road deers coming around. So now we have to get ready, eat our breakfast, pack our backpacks and get on the trail. We're about to start the descent to the peak Carlit. It will be 18 kilometers in total and we hope to come down till the evening. Also we want to hide our backpacks somewhere in the bushes or in the trees so we can hike faster and be more efficient overall. So let's get started! One of the reasons why we want to leave our backpacks today is because of our experience last year with the peak of Puchmal when we left our backpacks as well in the bushes and we were glad we did it because the uphill was very steep and it would be impossible even to come up but the way down was even harder it would be just impossible to come down so that's why we are doing the same now <laughs> to be able to reach the peak and not to stop at the feet of it. We were really lucky today, the hot of staff of Bonor they were really kind and let us leave our backpacks in their hotel, in their living room. So it's, it's, it's great. Now we can go up without heavy weight. We left one backpack for some food and water, but it's not as heavy. So we're really excited to go. Already started, it's very hard. Promise to be really hard. <laughs> much more prefer walking on the huge rocks and jumping on it than on little falling rocks that make you so unstable. So it's been great so far and so refreshing in the forest. And we feel so light without weight. <laughs> to rush through the people but it's impossible. There are millions of them. The 
place is so serene. Can't believe our eyes. Rock formations are crazy. They always impress me. So many different shapes and forms. It looks like this is the peak that we are going for. This is the peak Carlit. It always looks so impossible to do when you are looking from far. But it is, and we are going to do it today. you go the more secluded places you find like these sweet little corners magical little corners like this try to move fast because we're afraid that later in the day the clouds can come out and it will block all the views from above and we certainly don't want that at all so it's better to hurry of the sun that it's at the feet of the feet Carlit that says that it's only for expert hikers. Less and less people will come our way. I know we're scared. <laughs> Nobody expects us. For now different surfaces have been combining are flat, then uphill, and a bit of downhill, and that's the best for the muscles, so I don't press too much on only one muscle group. But the uphill, the steep uphill is the way it's us. It's amazing to see how the same flowers on different altitudes are behaving differently, whereas here these flowers are still in bloom. A bit lower, if you go a bit lower, they are out of the season already. But here you can still experience their beauty. That's amazing.
Seems like the snow never disappears from these places. It's almost the middle of August and it's still there. You know, it's been a great hike. This is so steep. Incredible. The whole mountain is like a solid rock. Very strong. So many routes here intertwining that we're confused which one to take and it's already been so much more challenging than Puchmar for sure we made it we're here we're on top of the world <laughs> after taking the goat paths and very hard climbing that's yeah. so crazy <laughs> that's the hardest peak we've done so far do you agree it's for sure yeah, and now it looks like it's going to rain or thunderstorm. We're a bit scared. So probably we'll have to <laughs> keep going down. Actually, so scared of thunder and thunderstorms. So now I'm really scared. <laughs> yeah, 
and on the top of the mountain, you know, feels a bit different when you are lower. It's starting to rain and the peak is all covered in clouds and if we were to ascend now we wouldn't even find any view on the peak so we hoped in the last moment Here we are, with some scratches on the hands, bruises on the legs, all wet, dirty and miserable, we came down from the peak Khalid. At first the route is very easy, not complicated. Go through the forest, close to the lakes. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. In the middle of the trail it gets harder, and closer to the end it's very hard. Yeah, you're literally climbing the mountain with your hands, and I would use some kind of protection, gloves, or you know, like bike gloves or something like that. And we're not sure if the trekking poles would be really of some use because you're like a rock climber. <laughs> and also we confused the route, we took the one that goes left-handed and it was probably the wild goat paths, not, not the actual route because there was no signs, no marking whatsoever. So we recommend to take the right side. Yeah, take the right side of the mountain and then follow the signs and the route. It's kind of um, easier and, well, it's easier actually. <laughs> yeah, so, and you won't get lost. The way up took us four hours and the way down it's two hours. Yeah, so in total it, ta it takes six hours, around six hours. So don't believe the signs that tells you that it's like three hours or two and a half, yeah. It's not actually the case. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Also, we regret a bit that we haven't too much time to spare on the top of the mountain because it started to rain and thunderstorming and we were really scared, so we were rushing <laughs> to, on the way down. But there is nothing we could do about it, so we really hope that you have a better experience. Overall, we highly recommend to explore Buyus area because it's very interesting. And we highly recommend to go here by foot but you can also get to the Buyus by bus that you take at Mont Louis. Then you go to Plade Baris, it's one bus, and then you change to the other bus that takes you all the way up to Lake Buyus. So it's possible to go by bus as well. And also we wanted to point out that to go up with the heavy weight is not a great decision in this case, because as we said, the climb is very hard. As from our experience, we took with us our light backpack and my poor husband was carrying it <laughs> and he was already struggling with it. So go lightweight or without anything, so it would be the best decision. Thank you for joining us on this hike and see you next time. Until next adventure, bye. We're on our next day, heading home now and just wanted to add on to our final thoughts from yesterday. Yesterday we were and very tired and didn't realize how cool was the experience. And we highly recommend to fight there. It was surely more impressive than to smile. Yes, it was totally mind-blowing experience for us. And do it if you are in the area. It's must high. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment below sharing your opinion. Subscribe to our channel and hit notification bell to always stay up to date with our hiking adventures and nature walking videos. Also follow us on social media such as Facebook and Instagram for daily updates. Hope you're having a great day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!